Hey guys, it's John P. with Geek Beat. Guess what? It's been a while since we've done one of our daily vlogs, so I wanted to do one for you guys. I have the perfect subject for you here, which is the unboxing of a whole bunch of wireless mesh equipment from Ubiquiti. These are called the Unify access points, and we have a switch here and all kinds of stuff. So. Uh, I'm going to take you through it, but before I do, let me explain what it is. Think about it this way. You have a router and you have a Wi-Fi access point in your house, but you know, sometimes you go to a far corner of your house or a basement or something like that and you just can't reach your Wi-Fi. So usually what people will do is they'll try and add a second Wi-Fi hotspot in the house. It'll have an entirely different SSID that you have to connect to, and it's not particularly easy to configure or anything like that. Plus, it's not entirely scalable, and it definitely doesn't work for small businesses. However, there's another technology called wireless meshing, which allows you to take specific kind of devices, and that's what these are, and you can plug them all in and kind of link them together so they turn into one big blanket of Wi-Fi coverage using a single SSID. That would let you go from like one end of a building to another end of a building, always connected to a single SSID access point, which is a dream, but for most of us in the home or small business area, uh, it's just been out of reach for a long time because you had to spend a lot of money on things like Cisco or other high-end network e equipment. So Ubiquiti has come up with these really cool access points and uh, I'm, I'm not an expert on it yet. Like I said, this is just an unboxing. They just sent these to us. But as I understand it, uh, there's a very simple kind of graphical user interface. The back of this box is showing some of it. And you're going to go in and you tell it where the access points are and you basically tell them to link up and that's it. You're done. So I will give you a lot more detail on that after we've uh, set it up. But first, let's take a look at what these devices look like. What we have for our system is we have three of these Unify AP Pro. This is the access point pro. Now there are two versions of this. There's the pro version and then there's the kind of regular version. This is the higher powered version. So uh, well the box is pretty nice. It's fairly simple. We've got this nice little um, oval or round de device and these are designed to be mounted upside down on a ceiling or on a wall something like that. So it comes with uh, wall mounting plate or a ceiling mounting plate here and oh there's two pieces okay let's see there you go so this is like a wall mounting plate or ceiling mount and you put this on and you screw it and it stays but if you wanted to mount it in these kind of tiles that we have up in the ceiling show them those tiles Ken what are these things called uh, drop ceiling drop drop ceiling um, if you tried to screw into it with this plate it might fall off so you put this metal plate on the other side of the drop ceiling and then you screw this part here and then you twist this part in and bang. You can even hang these in the middle of a drop ceiling. So that's how these work. Comes with a power cord. Uh, don't know why. Oh yeah, I know why that we have a power cord because it also comes with, let me see if I can get it out of here a PoE uh, adapter. This is power over ethernet. So what happens is in order to make these really easy to install on the back, there you go. You see it's only got ethernet ports. It's got a single uh, incoming ethernet port and then it's got a secondary which goes like out to another device. Everything comes in off this. The network connectivity, the power for the device, everything. But you have to have a special switch to inject power into the ethernet cable and they include this one with, with uh, the device. So if you aren't gonna have a lot of them, you might wanna use this. But we're gonna look at another option for that in a second. So it's real simple, that's it. There's nothing else in the box. A quick start user guide. Hopefully it's gonna be really easy to configure. Now, so we've got those. Those are designed for indoor coverage. We'll have three of those. We'll put them in different spots. We'll see how they mesh up together. This one, however, is the outdoor access point, the AP Outdoor. 
So let's take a look at that one. Slightly different design. Okay. This one is a more rectangular shape. It comes with a wall mount. Let me see, I'm going to turn this over. Oh, here you go. It looks like it even comes with a little bracket so you could do pole mounting, or not a bracket, but a clamp, so you could do pole mounting if you wanted to. Comes with this little wall mount, and so we could clip this anywhere and then snap this in place and bingo, it hangs on the wall. You'll notice this one also has external antennas. I assume that's to give it better range. So it's got two antennas here and also comes with a power over ethernet um, injector. So uh, that will tie in, we'll put that one outside, put those inside. Now, instead of having to use four of these little devices, what we're gonna use is a tough switch. This is a power over ethernet switch. So what we'll do is we'll hook this into our network and just like a regular switch, but for all of these devices, we will hardwire an ethernet cable from one of these ports to each of these devices and it will then send the network and the power to those devices. So it's a good looking switch actually. Um, it says tough switch, and I'm telling you, it feels really tough and solid, but other than that, it's just a switch, so it's pretty simple. And these are not very expensive, these eight port ones. I, I They make also bigger rack mount ones, but I think these are pretty cheap. In fact, all of this all together is under about $500. So that's a really good deal if you've got a big house or a small business and you want the whole thing covered. Anyway, that's our unboxing of the Unify system from Ubiquity. And uh, we've got more unboxings coming up for you later in the week and also on Friday's show. So you guys, I'll talk to you later with the next vlog. How about a thumbs up on YouTube for this one? And you guys have a good day. See you later.